morning and uh, some verses from the gospel of luke chapter 2 verse 29 to 32 lord now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word for my eyes have seen your salvation that you have prepared in the presence of all peoples a light for revelation to the gentiles and the glory of your people israel these words in the Gospel of Luke are recording the words of a man by the name of Simeon. Uh, it's become known as what is no, the, the Nunc Dimittis. And it's a hymn of praise and thanksgiving to God for showing Simeon the Saviour. He's waiting for the Messiah. He's a devout Jew there in Jerusalem in those days. And he's waiting to see the Messiah. He's waiting for God's Redeemer to be revealed to the earth and to the world. And basically what he's saying is, this has been fulfilled in this child Jesus who is here in my arms uh, today. The revelation of the truth about Jesus clarifies then more about the whole issue of salvation, which is so important to each and every one of us. Because what Simeon does here, he tells us who the Messiah is. It's Jesus. So what does he say? Well, two things. First of all, in verse 30, Simeon says, In this child I've seen God's means of salvation. Now that's a repeated theme, isn't it? In the New Testament especially, but right through how God is a God who wants to save. He is a saving God. And that salvation only comes through Jesus. There's no other way for anyone to know peace with God except through Jesus Christ, his chosen deliverer. And secondly, Simeon goes on to say, well, he's also a light. He's a light to all people. He talks about the Gentiles and the Jews. He says he is a light. The Saviour is a light to all people. Now, the term light is an interesting term. Again, a very important term in the New Testament and in the Old. And it means revelation or to make manifest. So Simeon is saying here, he says, the child I'm holding is the one who will bring the true revelation of God to humanity. The final revelation, the full revelation of God to humanity. See, that which is concealed in the Old Testament, for if you read the Old Testament and you have a, 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 a good overview of it, you will see how reference is made throughout to this future Messiah, this future figure who would come. It's concealed. That figure is concealed. He's concealed. But, and Simeon would have known those Old Testament prophecies. He would have known uh, the prophecies about the Messiah. And he was expecting this great revelation, this final revelation from God. And now he says, here in the temple in Jerusalem on that particular day, this child is the revelation that I've been waiting for. The Messiah, the Saviour is here. So what does this mean to us in practice? Well, Jesus, it means, is the illuminator of men. In that he shines his light, the light of the gospel, into our hearts. So that we might see truly who we are before God and who God is. So we will see that we are sinners, that we are not right with God and that we need the Saviour, the Messiah to help us to put things right with God. He is the light that shines in our darkness. Darkness is a, again another New Testament term which we have to be very aware of. It means to cover and so when it talks about darkness here, it means to cover or it represents that which covers us or hides us from God. And so that's why we hear of being in the kingdom of darkness as opposed to being in the kingdom of light. And so when we're in darkness, we are covered over and it's sin which covers us and separates us from God, which brings us into that darkness. But as with darkness in a natural sense, if you want to dispel the darkness, you need the light. Just turn the light on and you will get the darkness dispelled. And that's what Jesus does. 
Jesus is the light that can dispel the darkness. Or he can do away with that which hides us from God, that which covers over us. He can do away with that sin which is in the way. See, when there's a fault, it's good to shine a light on it. You can shine a light on something and see the very minutest detail, the smallest, tiniest fracture or crack in something, and light will shine through. And that's exactly what Jesus does. He shines onto our hearts and reveals what's wrong. And what's wrong is the sin that we have. But, you know, if you shine a light on something and you find a fault, what you really need to do then is put it right. The whole idea of finding the fault is that you can fix it. And that's again the wonderful thing that Jesus does. Not only does he light up our lives to see what's wrong in us, he also lights a pathway to God. He shows us the way uh, that we can be right with God. And it's through him and through him alone. So not only is he just a fault finder, he's a fault fixer. He can do what needs to be done to put us right with God. For he says in John chapter 8 and verse 12, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And so the darkness is gone. The darkness of sin and the light of life, that is his eternal life. The life of God is a part of us. So he is the light from God. That's what Simeon is saying. But he is also the light that leads to God. What's interesting to me here as well is how Simeon relates the effects of that encounter with that little babe. He says in verse 29, and just read that again, he says, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. Simeon's encounter with the baby Jesus made him to know peace in his heart and his life and he said I'm ready to die you let your servant depart in peace I'm ready to go you know there's a lot of people searching for peace in the world there's a lot of people who are living in fear we're going through this COVID-19 crisis and it's caused a lot of people to be fearful of dying fearful of what's out there Fearful of what's next, what's after death. Well, you know, Simeon here provides the answer. He says, if you want peace in your heart, if you want peace in your life, if you want peace as you face death, he says, you need to meet Jesus, just as he did. He says, peace come from knowing God's Saviour, Jesus. You know, today you might be troubled. You might be troubled, you might be worried about life, you might be worried about death. But the wonderful thing is this, you can know peace in Jesus. So Simeon, in these lovely words which we so often only ever hear or read at, at Christmas, Simeon introduces this important theme of Jesus as the light which reveals God to us, but also reveals who we are. Who we truly are. Do you know the way of light? Do you know the way of Jesus? You know, the wonderful thing is this. He is available for all people who will simply follow. Remember what Simeon said? He said, the Jew and the Gentile can both be brought together through Jesus to know God today thank God if you are a follower of Jesus if you are a follower of the light of the world thank God if you can say like Simeon I have peace with God because he's led you to that place of salvation Amen